Hello everyone, and today, again, I'm making sauerkraut. So, today it's just going to be regular green cabbage. I've learned a lot from my first couple of tries, and I'm going to be cutting this very evenly, very smoothly. Thin is important when it comes to sauerkraut. I also have a larger knife, which is really helping out. Another thing I've changed is that I'm using smaller cabbage heads. Younger, more firm, and tender cabbage heads should give us a beautiful texture. Should be good. Larger knife, smaller cabbage. It's a match made in heaven. To update you on my allergies, I have stopped taking all allergy medications. I didn't have an asthma attack at Focal, even though the door to the smoking area was open. I did not have an asthma attack or a panic attack on stage at Focal at the open mic night. The probiotic journey is going very well for me. It is July 2nd, 2018, in Arizona where the monsoon season is, I don't know, a couple weeks late. The problem with smaller heads of cabbage is the heel of the cabbage takes up a lot of the actual head. But it's a small price to pay for better kraut. Even this video is going better. Also got my rhythm down for slicing. Check that out. Novice level. Kronos asked me to do this video with less jump cutting. So, how am I doing so far? using half of this Himalayan salt, one eighth of a cup, two, I have four heads of cabbage, four of them, four new ones. The crowd pounder, still my new favorite tool. The secret here is to zero in on the center of the kraut and then just mash it firmly, repeatedly, until that salt 
is nice and mixed in, and all your cut is tenderized. I like the crowd masher because I have small hands. My goodness, our crowd has had quite an adventure. We're not quite done yet, but I did pound it a while, let it sit. I'm not gonna pound it just a little bit more. I've prepared our jars. We have three jars for four heads of cabbage and it should be sufficient. I have my, uh, well, the silicon airlocks, waterless maintenance-free airlocks. Got those from Amazon. These are mason top airlocks. As you can see, we have the uh, little slip there that if you pinch it, you can see it's got the opening and it lets out the gas and the air from the fermentation so that you don't have to burp your bottles. That's so awesome. They fit right on top, screw them down. It's gonna be great. This looks great. This looks nice and juicy. The cabbage is tender. The salinity is to taste. We used about an eighth of a cup of salt from the Himalayan mountains. Like this. Dig in. This looks messy. The bottle is clean. I'm just gonna put the bottle right into the bowl. That works! Oh my god, that works! Oh, that's awesome! That works so good! getting all messy but I can rinse that off later. What do you think guys? Does this work? I'm calling this good. Oh my goodness I feel like a genius. I'm really gonna have to show my friends this trick. Just put the jar in the bowl. I'm trying to get the juice to rise up. Because in sauerkraut, the juice is serious business. It's got to stay under the level of the juice to avoid mold and bacteria that we don't want in our delicious life improving probiotic cabbage meals. Oh my goodness. Isn't this a beautiful jar? this. I love this. This is a blue tuna jar that's going to protect the sauerkraut, the ferment, from any uh, ultraviolet light damaging the vitamin content. Oh, and it's so pretty. I'll just put this down here for now in the cooler. 
it's not really full, but we'll get back to that. Oh yeah. This goes a lot better than trying to balance it, trying to avoid getting sauerkraut leaves everywhere. I'm gonna call this the in the bowl technique. Pounding it down, yeah. to get some leverage on it. The pickle weight, the pickle pebble, it's all right in there and it's all so beautiful. And it's so good for you. Just four weeks in and sauerkraut has really started to change my life. Also getting some awesome arm strength. Check that out. Oh yeah, I'm ripped. Mm. Mm. I'll do something special with this batch. I'll probably do the sandwich bag filled with water technique. So, because it's a little low. I'll do that later. Guys, I think I'm done. 